Hey everyone, here's another video update for Treasure Reef and you can see it has changed. So in the last video I have uh, announced that I'm shutting down um, quite a few of my aquariums and I'm happy to report that in just a week I was able to uh, empty out three uh, frag tanks. So basically I'm down to this uh, reef over here. Um, I have my lagoon and I'm going to keep uh, a single frag tank, at least for now, and see how that goes. Um, and to everybody who's reached out about frags, there's still some left. Um, and there's going to be a couple of links um, uh, in this video in the comments uh, section or description section where you can uh, find where to get the corals. Now, um, the trick is uh, it, it's only going to work for fellow Canadians just because you can't ship uh, corals to the States, unfortunately. But enough about that and let's actually talk uh, about uh, this aquarium over here. So there's a lot of work that went into uh, this tank and you can see kind of what I'm um, going with here. So I thought I would just do a quick uh, video just on this lagoon will come later. There's not that many changes to that, but um, I've made quite a lot of uh, Changes and I think significant changes to uh, the aquascape in this aquarium. So you can see um, I've really tried to Push things a little bit further back and bring things a little bit closer so that it opens up that uh, white sand around it. I love uh, my white sand and uh, I wouldn't want to keep a tank without it. I think it really adds uh, to um, uh, the experience. I think it really ties the room together. And with that, um, I think this is the first step in uh, the process of rescaping this aquarium. So you can see that there's a little bit of space on both sides. I think it looks a lot better now. Um, it feels, the look I'm going for is like, I want to, it to be like a little reef um, if you're di diving somewhere. So, um, and you can see that the other side looks pretty good as well. Now, what really um, I'm going for here is um, also scale. So there's still a few issues here. You can see that there is a big colony uh, of uh, Alcorn on the left. There's a big green slimer and I think they look a little bit out of proportion. So I'm going to, over the next few days, I'm going to be trimming uh, them, making them smaller and just kind of get that um, uniform feel to uh, the whole aquascape. I've also made things um, a little bit more densely populated. There's still lots of spaces where I can fit some corals, as, as you can see here. Um, and um, I really don't want to see any uh, empty rock, but it takes time. Um, a lot of them, a lot of my corals are pegged. That means that I can easily lift it up and remove it, but it takes forever to take the rock out. And then you have to drill it and you're gonna make a mess. Uh, all of that good stuff. And then you have to peg it um, and uh, you have to use epoxy, glue, um, all those little rods and it's not a lot of fun. But I'm slowly uh, going through this process and I think um, I'm getting making some, some good headway here. Oh, look at that. Uh, he is pooping. Uh, the <laughs> the uh, flame angel over here. It's got a little bit of poop coming out of his belly. All right, enough about that. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, you can see that I have now torches right over here. So lots of torches and um, they don't look as amazing right now with uh, the white light on, but uh, Shall we take a look at them under the blue light? And I think it looks pretty awesome under the blue light. Um, so I've never really kept torches in this aquarium and um, I figured I was uh, missing out a lot. So I have uh, put some really nice ones right over to the right side. So this is kind of when I enter this room, I get to enjoy them. I've also put a few corals kind of 
over here. So there's a war coral. There is um, my sunset monte right over here, which I need to clean up. Let's switch it back to white color. This is the color I prefer when I want to uh, explore all the fish and uh, their health in the aquarium, as well as uh, see if there's any issues with the corals. But uh, kind of coming back to the overall rescape, um, you can see that with all that white space, um, I'm trying to put a few uh, colonies uh, of anything that kind of goes into the bottom a little bit further into the rock work. So it still has the color, but uh, it maintains that same uh, open look. And speaking of open look, I really wanted to point out that um, this is a, probably one of my favorite aquariums and the looks uh, that I've had so far. You can see that I'm running no light. Where's the light? There's no light uh, in this tank. And that is because there's still three blades at the top. And uh, you can see that they just disappear, which um, also allows me when I'm sitting lower um, in, in, let's say, uh, a chair, I, I don't get any glare whatsoever. So I get to really explore, uh, or sorry, enjoy that uh, ocean window look. So that's uh, really where, um, uh, what's so special about this uh, aquarium for me. And I don't think I'm uh, going back to any type of canopy or any type of uh, lighting at the top. Um, I just love this look. And now, in terms of uh, fish health, everybody is looking great. I haven't introduced any other fish. Um, I would prefer for the antheas to come out. For some reason, they really like to be in the rock work. And uh, just like this royal grama, which is still one of my favorite, absolute favorite fish. And I haven't introduced a, an anemone into this tank. I've listened to a lot of your advice not to do that. Um, but I'm always tempted because I uh, find that um, the tank is just completely different when there is an anemone. Also not sure what's happened to the other clown. I see uh, one clown over here, but I do not see uh, the other one uh, as of lately. So here's the um, antheas um, in the rock work right over there. So that's the tank. Uh, this is the scape. This is the midpoint. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of uh, kind of the direction uh, I'm going and uh, if there's anything else I can do to kind of take it to uh, the next level. Um, I uh, really like uh, the tank. I really like where um, it's going and I feel that's a bit of a f um, breath of fresh um, air which sometimes you need in this uh, hobby. I was um, a little bit down uh, last week so <laughs> this is something a little bit uh, different. With that said, thank you for watching. To everybody in Canada, happy Canada Day. Anybody in US, happy 4th of July. And I will see you next week.